So hello, literate fools and literate fool subscribers. I am your Tuesday. Uh, my name is Greg, and uh, I'll pretty much be doing uh, science fiction. Um, normally like H.G. Wells, um, Isaac Asimov, and other sci-fi um, authors. Now, today for my book review, I'm going to be reading this Star Wars trilogy by Kevin J. Anderson called uh, The Jedi Academy. Um, basically this takes place uh, seven years after Return of the Jedi and there happens to be another book series before this one but after Return of the Jedi so I'm going to have to find that one and read that one as well for personal. I'm not going to waste six videos on Star Wars. There's other sci-fi out there besides Star Wars and Star Trek really. So, anyway. Okay, so this is the fifth time I've tried to record this video. Because every time I make it, I tend to go into detail and just give away more of the story than what I should. So, in short, um, Han and Chewie, they try to make peace with the smuggling planets and hopefully bring them into the New Republic. They shoot them down, they get captured, they get sent down to the mines to mine the spice, and then by unforeseen events, they, they take off the creature that creates the spice and the creature pretty much runs rampage. And so they they get the Millennium Falcon back and then they flee into this cluster of black holes. And within this cluster of black holes they discover three Star Destroyers, a prototype Death Star, and the Maw Installation, which is pretty much an imperialistic uh, weapons developer. And uh, so they get captured and then they escape thanks to help of Quiox. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. So, I forgot to mention they while in the mines they 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 run into Keep Duran, and then they then during the escape Keep Duran is now a main character in the rest of the story, and and the rest of the books. So, um, I'm trying to do this really quickly because the last time I recorded this, the entire video, in a whole was 14 minutes, and that will not do. So after they get captured, they get interrogated, then they escape, and the Millennium Falcon goes, escapes, but then also they take along the Sun Crusher, which happens to have the ability to cause a star to go supernova, even if it's a brand new star. So, so they, they escape, now they have three Imperial Star Destroyers to worry about and Kessel and other places. So they make it back to Coruscant, then the <clears throat> excuse me, then the Sun Crusher starts to be examined, taken apart, and etc. That's the end of that story. Then there's Luke's story. He goes to a planet called Il Shah and tries to convince this guy Gantorus that hey I have a Jedi Academy, you come with me. Gantorus is like, no, no. I've had dreams about a dark man who offers me secrets and then destroys me. But then Luke's like, no, that's not me. That's not me. Well, you must prove yourself to me. Luke goes, okay, what do I gotta do? You must slay a fire dragon and walk through geysers. Okay. Luke passes them both with force abilities and Gantorus is like, I will go with you. So that's it with that. And then they travel to Bespin, and they pick up an old hermit that also has force abilities, and they're off to even 4 to begin their Jedi Academy. After trying to help out Han escape from the Maw installation. Then there is Leia's story. Uh, she's getting more political responsibilities, she's becoming more of a political figure and a powerful powerful political figure and so she's trying to bring in pretty much rebuild uh, the Republic from what it was before the Empire happened so a lot of plans don't want to because they've been crushed underneath the boot of the Empire beforehand and they're like no we want to go away and lick our planetary wounds for a while then we'll get back to you well she's really trying hard to get this planet Cardia Cardia I don't know how to pronounce it. 
I probably had to look it up at the book, but that'll take too long. So she she convinces the ambassador of this planet to come. Now they really want him to join the Republic, mainly because he happens to be in control of the largest Imperial Academy in the galaxy. So if they really want to get them on their side, because if not, then this guy could pretty much take over the, the, the New Republic if he wanted to. So, uh, that's pretty much it with that. Uh, then Leia gets her kids back. And about the same time, the, the ambassador from, the, from that Imperial Academy planet, uh, they host a party for him. And so he sees that as an insult, and he has two flasks. One is a normal liquor drink that he drinks, and then another one's filled with this other liquor that he splashes in Mon Motha's face, and it releases a toxin into Mon Motha, which it's kind of like leprosy, but you can't get rid of it. You know, it's, it's microorganisms that are slowly tearing away each cell, at one cell at a time, so causing internal bleeding, pretty much a slow, painful death. Sort of like AIDS, but unrelated. So, anyway, that is the summary of the book. And uh, hope, I really do hope that you read it for yourself, and hopefully this video is short enough that I don't have to record this a sixth time. So, fifth time's the charm.